Welcome to JR Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make soft rooties at home using all-purpose flour. Before I begin though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. So first, before we begin, we're going to need water, salt, all-purpose flour, and of course we're going to be using a wood board and a rolling pin. First, I'm going to go ahead and get two cups of flour. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some water and a pinch of salt, not too much because it can become salty and you do not want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together using my hand, but if you do have a mixture machine, please go ahead and utilize it. If not, be prepared for your hands to be messy. So I'm just mixing everything together. Um, as you can see, it's just becoming very soggy, which means I added a little bit too much water. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of flour to it just to make it a little bit hard, but not to the point where it's too hard for me to even make it into a perfect dough. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit, little by little, just until I feel it's perfectly fine and for me to roll out the routines. So now I'm just rolling out my dough one by one. I'm going to go ahead and until I finish. And also make sure you put some flour on the tray or the plate you're going to be placing your rutis on because the rutis will get stuck to one another or on the plate or the tray you're using to set the rutis on. And make sure as you go, you just make it into a ball, the little dough you have that's still left because if not, it will harden. If it does harden, add a little bit of water, just tiny um, and to make a little bit moist because it will harden again. So as you can see, that's what I'm just doing, making sure they're all together. If you do have few remainings, just go ahead, try to stick it onto the remaining dough. Um, it is very hard to do with one hand, so utilize both hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to finish making all my rutis, and then I'll be showing you guys how to fry it without using oil. And make sure you guys um, put some flour on the wood board because if not, obviously the dough is going to go ahead and stick onto it. So you want to use a little bit all over and also on the front and the back side of the rutti as well. I know some people like to use oil in this part on their dough. So if you want to use, just use one spoon, one teaspoon. But me preferably, I do not like this, so I don't. Here, as you can see, I'm just going to fry it. I'm using low, medium flame, not too high, because if you put it in high, it will burn if you're not cautious. If you are very cautious, go ahead, but you just want the color to be a little bit light brown on both sides. Um, also, it will become a little bit poofy once they're, you know, frying up. But um, if you don't see that, that is totally fine. It just means you just made your dough a little bit too hard using too much flour. Um, but me, preferably, I prefer the ones um, that poof up because it's so much softer to eat. And again, we are eating this soft rooti with um, anything. It can be based on your preference. It can be bazi, which is mixed veggie, curries, chutney. Some people do not like to have it with their tea, which is not bad. I have personally tried it once before, but I prefer some curries or bazis rather than tea. As you can see, the little poofiness one side, that's what we want. Not all the side will be a little bit poofy. That's fine. So mine's are almost there. I'm going to go ahead and finish up making the rest of the routines and then I'll be showing you guys. So as you can see, I'm done making mines. I want to thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and see you soon. Bye.